Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. Now I've uh, basically decided to call this uh, series Masochism because uh, this is a 1075% difficulty uh, challenge with no competitors. Uh, uh, so that means uh, we have some... Uh, well, it means we have... Uh, we have some... Uh, uh, limitations uh, that we wouldn't normally have. Uh, and those are, um, well, inconvenient. Uh, so that means uh, we need to be a little bit careful uh, initially uh, that we uh, uh, that we get uh, the right stuff um, uh, researched before we uh, we bring uh, we bring too many uh, uh, before we bring our first uh, colonists in. So we're right now, I'm working on uh, research uh, level and uh, a little bit of uh, uh, funding and so on. Now, uh, what I, I need to do is uh, is get uh, uh, get a ramp down. Uh, to these um, uh, uh, to the um, uh, uh, to the um, other levels here that's that's uh, what I need to do uh, so uh, What I'm looking for is a path that is going to be removing waste rock and uh, I come down in a uh, useful place. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Um, right. Uh, there's also uh, a trick we can use here. Uh, we can uh, drop uh, uh, dump sites in uh, places to uh, block um, dust devils from getting through. Uh, which I'm going to do here uh, in a few spots. Uh, just for um, uh, using up less maintenance in a few uh, in cases here. Uh, see, because if we do this, oh, um, uh, yeah, basically these things dissipate when they uh, run into uh, built-up terrain. Um, right. Uh, so, uh, this, uh, we're, uh, well, we're working on it with the drones. Um, anyway, the idea is, uh, if we can get down here and we can start exploring, we can unlock, uh, anomalies there and, and so on. Uh, and I need to do the same thing over on this side. Uh, so I'll, uh set up a ramp over here too. Now if I do it here, um, yeah, I'll do it there. Uh, that will um, go through this whole bumpy area there. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, so that's going to, uh, you know, take a bit to, uh, to sort out. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, up the tempo a bit here. Uh, now, where's the um, transport? Yeah, we'll we'll grab the transport. We'll do a transport route, and we'll grab everything from over there and bring it in. Right, techs are available. What uh, drone hub? Uh, greenhouse Mars greenhouse Mars uh, 
Ooh. We if we could um Ah. Yeah, um that's something that uh is worth uh getting uh online uh is if we can get the uh, temperature up to 50% before um Uh, before the uh, colonists arrive, then they won't have to deal with cold waves. Uh, and that, uh, like, if we can get rid of cold waves uh, altogether, uh, that will uh, substantially improve our uh, uh, survivability. Um, the other one uh, is the uh, waste rock processor for... Um, uh, you know, for uh, atmosphere, uh, is if we can get the atmosphere up uh, high enough, uh, we can uh, eliminate um, dust storms, uh, which uh, uh, also uh, substantially uh, improve our survivability. And you can do both of those uh, without having any colonists if you can uh, survive uh, long enough. Now, to do that, uh, we really want the Mohole Mine. Um, but that needs a ridiculous amount of machine parts, and uh, you, you can't make machine parts without colonists, so that means you have to buy them. And that gets expensive. So what we really need uh, to make that uh, workable is, uh, well... Uh, ideally, uh, we want the autonomous extractors um, uh, a breakthrough, uh, and if we can get that, then we can mine uh, uh, rare metals, uh, and uh, and do that without uh, having to um, uh, um. Um, you know, have colonists right uh, kicking about while uh, uh, while we're building up to the um, the particularly uh, useful stuff. Okay, transport. Um, let's uh, collect uh, this uh, up to here. Uh, how's this doing? Um, okay, it's uh, making progress. So once we can get down here, uh, so that'll be the next area to scan. Uh, okay, so we're scanning those, that, uh, and we'll scan that, and then here. Uh, Yeah, we'll do uh, do that. Okay, uh, we've got uh, we're collecting our uh, resources from over there. Uh, good, uh, right? Uh, anyway, um, now uh, we have here a. Uh, well, the ramp is a third of the way done. Uh, what I can do also is I can flatten this out. Um, that'll make placing the dome easier. Uh, I, I ideally want to be able to get a medium-sized dome for the, uh, the first dome, uh, if possible. Uh, that's going to be uh, easier said than done, of course. Um, we're up to, almost up to a full load of fuel here, in which case we can send the rocket back. Um, right, so uh, there will be a slight uh, research boost for that, because it will be the first rocket launched from Mars. Uh, right, okay, so... Uh, now let's... Uh, I want to take a look here. Did I... No, I didn't. Okay.
Okay, so far so good. Um, how's this doing? 43%. Okay, so that's going to get done relatively quickly. Uh, so uh, I'm also going to grab the flatten tool. And let's uh, flatten this out. I've noticed uh, people playing the game seem to uh, think you can't flatten over a resource, but you actually can. You can flatten, you can build uh, ramps, all of that jazz uh, over top of uh, resources. Uh, and that's actually useful as it can allow you to get to, say, a uh, even an anomaly uh, when the uh, when it when the ground is not favorable. Okay, we'll uh, we'll do this. Uh, yeah, we'll do this uh, all the way up to here. That will. Okay, we got an electrostatic dust storm coming. Uh, those are uh, really annoying. Um, but that's why I wanted to have six sensor towers, was so we get uh, get better uh, notice of those. Okay, so this uh, this here. Uh, it, it needs 47 waste rock to do the uh, filling in and everything uh, and that's that's fine um, right um, okay well that's making real progress um, yeah, see, with the uh, higher difficulty that we set up these storms are longer three souls uh it's uh well uh well not uh, rather than two or th or one or two or three souls they, they can be up to like six or so um where's the uh uh okay now we'll ask uh, <laughs> oh that's cute it got stuck You know, that's kind of amusing. Uh, <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, it was amusing for a few seconds, but uh, otherwise, yeah, not so much. Uh, this will uh, will fill in. Uh, reasonably quickly uh the waste rock is going to be available uh we're producing it with the uh with the uh concrete extractor and uh the clearing here so uh yeah uh that's not going to be a problem uh this here uh well it's two-thirds there uh so yeah that's uh that's making progress uh, anyway, uh, how is this doing? 74. If I can get the rocket off before the, uh, the storm, uh, that would be uh, somewhat ideal. Um, yeah, uh, that would be somewhat ideal. Uh, we should be able to. Um, this is, uh, yeah, it's producing 77 so we need three more yeah we should be able to and once we get the uh, the rocket off uh, that might get our uh, research completed the ex the Explorer AI um, is this the yeah that's the commander 
Okay, if I bring this over here... Okay, that gets it in range for the... Uh, for the other... Uh, for the project over there, yeah. Uh, and is it still... It's still in range for the... Uh, uh, drone hub. So uh, yeah, we should be able to to keep those uh, maintained. Need one more uh, fuel, uh, which we'll get before the soul is up. There we go. We can launch. So let's launch. That's 250 uh, science points. Now we'll do something uh, radical here. We'll put a uh, rocket pad uh, here right there uh, so that when the rocket comes back um, we can uh, land it with less dust going everywhere okay how's uh, that okay that How's this doing? Um, yeah, most of the waste rock is removed there. So, uh, yeah, we'll be able to get down there relatively soon. This is uh, still clearing the site, um, which is producing quite a bit of uh, waste rock by the look of it. You know what? I'm going to... Um, drop another one of these uh, right here uh, okay a meteor storm um, okay uh, we found an anomaly uh, where uh, down here okay four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, that's a Explorer AI that we've uh, researched there. Uh, now let's uh, let's go back in here. Um, automated storage, drone hubs, uh, drone swarm is uh, useful. Um, that one might be useful at this point, but maybe not so much subsurface heating will be useful uh, especially once we get the uh, colonists um, that's a useful upgrade as well uh, yeah I'm gonna research that uh, wait that's no I'm going to research that yeah what's this fuel compression no apartments what's this one oh yeah hygroscopic vaporators right uh, okay well uh, we'll do we'll, we'll let that uh, tick along um, right now this uh, obviously will need uh, we'll need to bring the drone commander over for that um, so we have uh, Meteor storm coming. That could, uh, it, depending on what what it strikes, like where it strikes, a meteor storm could actually put us completely out. Um, we do have planetary anomalies. Let's ten drones for a breakthrough. Uh, four geologists. We can't do nine drones for new techs. It might be worth, as soon as we get the rocket back, sending it up for Project Rain. Um, <laughs> we have 11 drones. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it might be worth doing. Uh, you know, just so that... Uh, so that we can... Uh, uh, well, well, if we get the right breakthrough, uh, it, it could make or break the game, right? And uh, like if we got something like uh, immortal cables or immortal pipes or uh, or um, automated extractors, um, 
or autonomous extractors. Like those would uh, all uh, all be extremely helpful, right? Uh, so the dust storm is starting up in uh, one sol. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power that down. Uh, three sols. Uh, right. Uh, might as well power that down if it's going to need... Uh... Yeah. Uh... So the thing about electrostatic uh, dust storms is uh, they can uh, they come with lightning strikes, which can disable buildings. Uh, it can also uh, uh, cause fuel explosions. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, fuel explosions is something that you don't actually want, you see. Um, okay, we've got our first ramp uh, operational here. Uh, this is now underway. Um, uh, no. Uh, so it's... Uh, okay, so this should get uh, finished uh, by the time the... Uh, uh, the dust storm uh, finishes. Um, our rocket will get to Earth before the dust storm ends as well, I think. Um, yeah, uh, and be most of the way back by then. Um, so on Earth, I'm going to have to grab some electronics. And I'll grab more um, more of these as well. Uh, you know, cause I, I just need to build up the uh, supplies, right? Uh, okay, it's uh, it's making pro. Okay, this is uh, this is actually when this finishes, uh, I'll be able to send the uh, the rover out because I was a dumbass and boxed it in. Uh, right. Um just about done clearing and then okay it's cleared the area uh, delivering waste rock it should be basically done with that um, um, yeah it's kind of funny uh, how these things look when they're uh, they're working. It's like they're praying or something. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's hilarious. Uh, anyway, this is going to get uh, completed fairly quickly here. Um, yeah, and then uh, we'll have a nice uh, level uh, spot here, uh, and that's this is where we'll be building most of our uh, colony. Um, yeah. Uh, so these these little guys, they're uh, they're just working away. It's halfway through. Uh, yeah. So this will be done by the time the uh, the uh, dust storm is uh, is done, and uh, we're gonna have the meteor storm starting up in the middle of the dust storm. Um, I'm hoping the meteor storm uh, strikes away from our, uh, you know, that's not useful, uh, away from our uh, location uh, so that it, uh, it doesn't uh, smash anything critical. Uh, at this difficulty level, if the wrong thing gets smashed, we're done. And then I'll just end up having to restart. Um, But uh, I don't think we'll end up uh, uh, with uh, anything quite that um, that problematic. Oh, we're down to leveling now. Now, if we sit here like this, we can actually watch the ground level. 
there we go. Yeah, there you see. Uh, you can see the ground changing as the uh, the uh, landscaping occurs. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice that we don't have a uh, a cold spot here. Um, okay, there's the meteor storm, and where are they coming down? over here uh drat that'll probably drift over and hit us um it's only lasting one sol 18 hours um right so i'm going to uh requeue this task and we can watch the uh, the rover behave like a well, like a uh, like it's uh, gone crazy. As soon as this clears, it'll be able to uh, run off to uh, to its task. Uh, I don't want it to get too far from home uh, during the uh, dust storm, though. Yeah, see, this is the uh, the smarts in the game not being particularly smart. Okay, so that's uh, that's doing that. Uh, transport. Um, we'll grab uh, some uh, resources from over here, and we'll uh, take them over here. Um, yeah. Uh, so that guy's scanning, uh, oh, um, where? That's okay. Uh, anomaly. A genius applicant is available. Hmm. Okay, well, that wasn't terribly helpful. Oh. That was kind of nice. Uh, okay, where's the... Uh, explorer. Let's send the explorer back there. Um... Okay, that should be far enough away that it doesn't damage the uh, rover. Yeah, it is. So should that one be. Yep. Now, is it going to get past us now? Okay, the rover's going going home. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's, uh, that's good. Okay. Oh, we got another one of those. Uh, that's good. And another... Those are research progress. So, yeah. Oh, uh, the rocket's over here. So we'll, we'll grab a cargo rocket. We'll bring a couple of those couple of those. Yeah. We'll bring a bunch of those. Um, right. And we'll bring a drone. 
Yeah. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, launch that. Okay, the rocket's coming back, and uh, the dust storm is over. So we can go back over here and uh, turn that back on, and that back on. Uh, oh, okay, we're good. Now, Explorer. Uh, scan the anomaly, scan the anomaly, scan the anomaly. Then we'll go down here and scan the anomaly and scan the anomaly. Yep. Okay, and then we'll back up here. Uh, okay. Okay, so we'll get some research progress out of that. Now, oh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I have things uh, queued up there. Um, transport. Um, we have quite a bit of uh, stuff over here, so we'll grab all of that and uh, bring it home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, 1250 we got Mars crowds crowdfunding um, okay now uh, general training uh, right okay okay so now we're up to 300 research uh, which is good uh, I wanted to get that and uh, what's this um, that's probably wor worth getting. Uh, okay. No, we'll get that one first. Uh, right. What's this? Drones work faster on landscaping. Okay. Now, what I can do here is uh, I can take this guy and uh, get him in range of this uh, ramp uh, project and then uh, and then that landscaping project can uh, can complete right and this is going to take quite a while yeah, that's definitely going to take a while. Uh, okay. Uh, now we'll put uh, a couple of dumping sites there. Uh, right. So we had a uh, research complete. Um, right. Uh Oh, we definitely want that. Um, uh, I think we want that first. Um, right. Where's the... Uh, it, oh, we're... Oh, yeah. We're uh, doing... Uh, Anomaly analyzed, 1250, right. Uh, so low G drive, um, right. And this, now he's going down here. And this, uh, this one is uh, a breakthrough, um, right. And then after that one, we got this one. Yeah. Which is uh, 
research progress. Okay. Well, this is uh, making at least some progress on things. Let's see what this breakthrough is before we uh, we get too far on anything. So if it's the right breakthrough, then we're uh, we're laughing. But if it's not, then we're just taking along as we we have been so far. Okay, and what's it going to be? Martian born ingenuity. Martian born gain 10 performance. Uh, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, it just is. Eight, nine. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to put a cut here. Uh, so, uh, next, um, Uh, next part is just going to be more of the same. I'll uh, definitely research that breakthrough uh, just because uh, we get a uh, sponsor reward when we do. Uh, and then uh, I guess uh, it'll be just more uh, preparation work. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.